Having a second monitor can really up your productivity, but not everyone has a spare monitor kicking around. Did you know there's apps you can get that let you use your iPad as a second screen? Let me show you two of my favorites. The first app I want to show you is called Duet. It connects to your iPad with the exact same cable you use to charge it, so you don't run into some of the lag problems you might have with a wireless connection. I'm using a USB to lightning cable, but depending on the make and model of your iPad, yours might be different. It's totally fine. Now, with Duet installed on both your computer and your iPad, you want to launch the app on both. And now I have two monitors. Check it out. I can drag the mouse right on over. Or if I want to open a window, I can drag my window over here because I want to watch my YouTube on my iPad. And I can use the iPad touch screen like I would a mouse. Making your skin a great canvas for everything. Now, something that's a little weird is we have this letterboxing here for our second monitor. There is a way to fix it, but it's not super easy to get to or intuitive. So if I open the duet settings, I go to the advanced settings. If I put it on the largest text option, then you can see the letterboxing goes away. But it also changes the resolution, it makes the screen look a little more grainy. It's not ideal. So that was Duet, but let's look at another one I like. This one's called Air Display. Air Display works very similarly. You can see we're using a wired connection, and when it's installed on both the iPad and the computer, you want to launch it on both. And there's my second monitor. You can see this works largely the same. I can open a window, I can move it over here, and I really like that this one's easy to use and we don't run into that letterboxing issue. A small warning though, if you're using a PC, this version of the software isn't available for you yet. There is a previous version you can use on a PC. Another cool feature of Air Display is that there's a keyboard option. If I touch the keyboard button down here at the bottom of the iPad, I can type from my second monitor, which you might find helpful or not. So those two are my favorites, but there's lots more apps also on the market. If you're looking for a cheaper option, there's Splashtop and DisplayPad. And I know the iPad's not the exact same size as a full second monitor, but I think you can reap a lot of the exact same benefits.